What's up guys, Other Jesus here. Gonna show you the first capture Here's your ammo. from the Elgato. Playing some Battlefield here with you guys, the crew. Uh, I started off with the uh, DAO or DOA. I don't even know what the shotgun's called, but it's the shotgun. <laughs> I started out with this because it was what I used last in the last game that I had played. I think it was a Conquest Domination, I think on Operation 925, and I just went berserk with it, just killed, kicked ass with it. Uh, but right then Ronan snuck up on me, and I started to think to myself, maybe I shouldn't be using the shotgun right now. And so, as you'll see here, I get my tags taken for the first time by Malicious J. Well, it was the first time he took my tags, I mean. Uh, after I've killed him so many times. Um, so I ended up switching back to my M5K that I love so much. Uh, and right away, start getting some kills. So it's just us right now. And there's Wisby. Take Wisby down, and right here, I caught Moto out of the corner of my eye, but I thought it was a teammate. I, I do that all the time. It's it's annoying, um, and I was on reload anyway, so you know. Um, so, so yeah, switch to the M5K. I think it's just us right now, and again, uh, Moto gets me right there. Nice kill. Just wasn't warmed up. I threw that health pack like right in the middle of the street, like a fool. Uh, I was, was kicking myself for that. Um, so of course I go to the building that I like to camp in all the time. And my aim with my M5K is not quite warmed up yet. It's demonstrated by a barely missing Wisby there, but I poke out and I get him. Pick up your meds. So Right there, that rocket blows up the building, and Ronan and I can't figure out where it came from, and there's Wisby's dead body still just on the stairs there, and we were shooting at it. So I hear some footsteps, and it's behind me. And Wisby caught me off guard, but uh, we still ended up killing each other. Uh, and that's why I love that M5K. Has such a fast rate of fire. Um, right there though, Moto outsmarted me. I, I rushed in there like a fool. I really don't know what I was thinking there. I, I still remember uh, when I rushed in there and he killed me right then. I was like, man, I need to slow down. And so you can see right here, I'm really just kind of hanging back and trying to see what's going on. And I heard footsteps behind me. I turned around and it was Ronan. So right here, I'm really uncomfortable. Uh, this is not a spot that I like to be in at this map. Because um, there's just so many places to get uh, screwed over, as you see right here. But I do a little bunny hop jump, and I was right on Brick's head, but it wasn't enough to to make it happen. But yeah, I, I don't like hanging out in, in that spot. Um, here, I just throw kind of a random nade. I'm like, let's get this going on here. Take out Brick there. Still a little sloppy, but but warming up. Yeah, th this I, I like this spot right here. Um, there's only a few places where you can get attacked from, and this spot here. And there's a lot of good stuff to hide behind and kind of poke around um, and kind of play cat and mouse. Um, so th this is one of the spots I, I like to kind of hold down and just really camp. Um, you know, sometimes I'll get five kills and, and then die, you know, or get, you know, three or four kills and then die. Um, yeah, really sloppy right there. I was, I was kind of looking for some action. I kind of poked out too far and went, went against my own rule, but I was kind of getting a little uh, itchy trigger finger there. And here, after I got killed in the middle, I was like, yeah, let's go back in and just, uh, fuck around some more and, and be stupid. Try to be sneaky here. 
Um, I tried to make that jump right there and totally failed, and so I'm panicking. I'm like, I need to, you know, get out of here. Ronan and I are running into each other. Yeah. Not a, a fan of these tight corners. I mean, I don't, and, and, and I don't even really like it. I don't even really like it with, uh, with, with, with the shotgun. You know, I mean, it just gets kind of old to me. So I, I really prefer hanging out uh, along the edges. Got some M5K service star there. I don't even know what that what it was. So I'm just trying to get the hell out of the way. Like, try to throw down some health and uh, get my bearings here. I lost track of Brick there. He had he had a pretty uh, pretty nice move, and there was two of us shooting at him too. And then uh, I got snuck up on. So that was a pretty cool play on on their part there. Even though we are uh, down three guys at this point, but I really don't mind that at all. You know, a little sloppy there, as you can see. I I I was trying to spot him too, and it wouldn't spot for some reason. And I don't know what this guy was doing here, but uh, took his tags. But yeah, it's weird sometimes. This game, it's, it just doesn't want to spot. And then right there, I saw that guy behind me, but I thought it was a teammate. But then I said, no. And so I turned around and blasted him. But as I was mumbling about, yeah, sometimes the guys just won't spot in this game. Um, right here even again, there, I guess it did spot him right there, but... Anyway, another rocket comes in, and I'm like, uh-huh. It's like a shot from behind, so I try to just pop out the door and throw down a, a health pack and, you know, see really what's going on here. There's a... Oh yeah, I remember that happening so frustrating. 50% <laughs> health. And if I wouldn't have been sprinting right there, I was kind of panicked a little bit because I was getting a lot of suppressive fire and so I was, you know, kind of trying to get away. But um, if I would have just slowed down and not been sprinting, I probably could have got him, or at least got him, you know, almost down. So here's where Ronan is, is asking me if he's skipping around the screen because he was lagging so bad. Um, even though he got top kills in the game, uh, you know, we won't mention that though. So, you, I, so you can see I love this M5K even though I have no idea what I'm doing there. I'm just trying not to get uh, knifed from behind because I don't like it when people sneak up on me. Um, the M5K, yes, uh, by far my favorite gun in the game right now, I gotta tell you guys, um, the reload is so fast in my opinion, uh, with the extended mags, 31 bullets, and, uh, just for me, I, I prefer the, the RDS, just the red dot sight on, um, on pretty much it. Uh, any gun except a sniper, you know, for like long range. On, on snipers, I usually prefer. Uh, here's the Wisby. Oh. Nice. Love it. See, M5K, even from far away, you can put hit markers on guys and even uh, take them down there. Um, awesome face with his shotgun. I'll never forget you, awesome face. But I just feel like the M5K can. On, on, on most of the, these maps and the situations that you're in um, can, can just get you kills. I mean, to me, that's a fast reload. Um, and that was, I think I even had an empty chamber there. Um, I mean, just kind of rambling there. A lot of uh, chaos. 
and the game and the server is starting to fill up now. And Moto came up from the side I was not looking. So that was a nice kill there. So things are starting to heat up now. We're getting more people in the server. Um, let's see what, what's going on here. Yeah, so the M I, I, I like the M5K more than, you know, say the AEK or the AUG or... Uh, I don't even really like the M16A3. Uh, I, I just... The rate of fire doesn't agree with me. And Moto is rocking it with the P90. I, I really do like the P90 as a as a substitute for the M5K on some larger maps I'll break out the P90 with a red dot sight and suppressor um, I, I feel like I can still see there's the M5K love it this is another, see this is that area that I love to hold down I mean if, if you've got a crew holding down this area I mean there's only a, a few spots that they can approach you from. You know, if you have this building here locked down um, and, the, and, and the container is under the crane, uh, I mean, you can really push them to the other side of the map and if, this, and if they're not snipers, you know, they're going to get bored. They're, they're going to be shotgun guys that get bored and they're going to push out. Um, that's, that's the way that I approach these Team Slayer games and um, to a large degree, even the Conquest Domination games. Um, I mean, if you think about it, it's like a, it's kind of, you can think of Team Deathmatch as a rush game where we're always on defense. You know, we're kind of, I like to kind of lock down an area of the map. Um, and sometimes you can even move as, as a team, but you have to have. You know, some some uh, good communication and, and awareness. As you can see right here with the M5K, I am just holding down this area right here. I even think I'm out of ammo now, so I'm venturing out here to sloppily get that pistol kill. Uh, but I pick up this guy's kit here, I think, and I just go on another tear. This is a P90 right here. Uh, and I was actually liking the uh, Cobra on the P90. I, I remember from watching this footage back right now, I really did end up liking the Cobra um, in this little session right here where I picked up this guy's kit. I normally roll a red dot sight with my P90, but now that I've watched this back, I might uh, swap it out with a Cobra. But I just feel like I get more headshots with the red dot sight, um, so that's that's why. And I'm like, what the hell? I don't have health. And that guy was trying to be sneaky there, laying down. And I was like, oh hell no. Oh, but I didn't even get the kill. <laughs> that's what I get for talking shit. So I saw a little activity over there. Let's go. Ooh, awesome face with the Saiga 12K. I was getting rocked with that. It's a shotgun, right? I was getting rocked with that shotgun in another game I played tonight before I sat down to do this voiceover. I might have to give that one a shot. It seemed pretty durable. Should not have went for that rev, but I was trying to be a good teammate. Cause awesome face pooped on me with the with that shotgun again, with the side guy. Had to take Brick's tag there on principle. 
He thought he was being all sneaky, running around the areas that I like to, you know, camp in. I hear footsteps, and it's driving me bananas. And I can... Uh, and I look on the mini-map, I don't see anybody, so... There's that guy right there, and look, I get caught in this. I still remember, oh, I remember when I was playing at that moment how frustrated I was. All I wanted to do was duck behind, throw a health pack down real quick, and, and, and pop back out. But I got caught on the wall, and that's what kind of a noob I am. Like, here, here's another example, right? Try, try to spot that guy, because I want to be a good teammate, right? I want to spot. I want to let people know in case I don't get this kill, I spotted him for you. But I hit the guide button instead, and sometimes it ends up costing me my life. So, you know, I'm, I'm out there risking my life for you at all times as a teammate. So here's another spot I, I kind of like to hold down. I mean, if you're watching, you know, if you are watching this, you're going to see a theme here. You know, I really don't go in the middle. I I just don't. Let's see what's going on here. And see, I'm not getting a whole lot of action right now. But I'm waiting. I'm being patient. Because I know that these guys are going to have to walk around these outskirts at some point. They're going to have to kind of switch up their route. And I'm going to catch them. I'm going to spot them. I'm going to put some shots into them. You know, I'm going to do whatever I can to, to help my team. Well, like, look at that grenade toss. That was a champion grenade toss right there. See, so spotted them. Didn't get the kill. And I just want to say for the record that I thought that was a teammate behind me. An awesome face freaking got me because I saw that guy and I did not think to turn around and check for a teammate. And it cost me my, my life. Another reason why it's good to have your sensitivity so high you can... <laughs> Uh, turn around really quick uh, and you know check your surroundings. Get your med. <clears throat> now I'm not saying I would want this in Battlefield 3, but I remember in. Uh, and look at this mess right here. What a what a slop fest there that was. I don't know what what even happened. Um, in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, there was this perk that you could get for your guy that would silence your footsteps. Um, and it was great. If you had a whole team of, of silence footsteps, I mean, you, you pretty much had an extra, you know, m a motion tracker built in at all times because you could always hear guys coming, and it was great. Um, but I wouldn't really want that in Battlefield. You know. So that was Wisby pooping on me there, but as you're about to see, because I specifically remember this, that guy up in the tower up there, I'm going to show you how you can uh, get some. Pretty good suppression, and Get even kill head. people from great distances with the M5K. Now, I think I end up dying again here, but uh, it is coming up. I, I specifically remember it. There's another one of the spots I love to camp, because you get a lot of activity in that corner. You can get a good view of it from right here as well. That whole center of the center of all those containers. So as you see right there, I didn't kill him. And tried a knife, and this was so mad. I made me so mad. What was that, three knives? I mean, how many knives was that? That was five. I freaking knifed him three times. Should have just shot him. S stupid, you know? That That's what you do in the moment sometimes. I'm trying to be all cool. I'm gonna knife this guy again. I think it was brick even. So, okay, so right here, check this out. Almost a whole clip, but I, I got some hit markers on him, you know? And then a little team effort there. I got a 55 kill assist, suppression assist, and a spot bonus from pretty damn far away with the M5K. And I did not... S if you notice that guy uh, running right then, when during the game, I uh, did not see him. Here I'm just trying to be so sneaky as you can see, but I end up getting knifed. Awesome face. That's all that guy did. He just runs around, shotgun, knife you, and I don't blame him. It's just uh, not really my play style. 
<clears throat> give it up to him though, because you you do gotta. Be, I imagine you, you do gotta be pretty sneaky and have some you know, good awareness to rely on just a shotgun and knife and people. And so I got a, I, I almost killed one guy there. I, I remember at the time not really knowing what happened because there were, ended up being two guys there, but I only thought there was one. But um, you see there, my teammate did get that double kill with that M5K right in their face, even with my aim being so sloppy. Uh, 96 kill assist, I think the other guy was 50% uh, assist. Anyway, so, af so after dying a few times, I get killed by admin. And, um, now I think all of us are on the same team now. So, shit's about to go down. About to get real heavy. So, see, there's another good example of why I just don't like to sprint very much, you know. I'll kind of take it slow. I saw that guy. And you guys know I pretty much would have killed him, but Brick had to switch up the server there. Another M5K headshot. No problem. So, the, the way I use this gun, I, I, I cannot make that jump, as you can see. That's so, so lame, I hate that. Um, I really just, like, feather the trigger. I mean, I really just you know, tap it. Except for right there where I go against everything I said because uh, I want to contradict myself. There we go. See that? Ooh, see what I'm talking about right there? Yeah, baby. That's that's the M5K in action right there. A little sloppy there. Sometimes I, I, I get thrown off. Like, if I, if I see a guy... And they don't shoot at me right away. It's like some, sometimes I get a little thrown off. Like, why aren't you shooting at me? I feel like you're looking right at me. And right here, I, I admit it, I was hella sloppy. It, it, it was three on one. I should have been a little bit more relaxed. But I felt so off guard for some reason. And I uh, was just trying to put down any suppressive fire that, that I could. Kind of the same thing here. I, it looked like such a disaster. I tried to put down some suppression and and uh, and kind of just get out of there. A little sloppy here. I, I really thought that guy should have killed me. Um, maybe he wasn't looking at me because I do have a suppressor on this gun. That's another thing too. I. There's your first aid kit. I I like I like suppressors on on most most of my guns. Um, I I feel like so right here I pick up this gun and I'm like well, what the I don't even know what what gun this is. Is this a sniper? No, it's I'm shooting the top of the ceiling and the crate and the sky and I don't even know what I was doing there. I should have just switched to my pistol. Probably would have been much more efficient. But oh yeah, suppression. Yeah, I really, I I feel like the the for the most part the benefits uh, far outweigh the uh, the pros outweigh the cons, in in my opinion. I use it. I use a, a suppressor on the P90, and I feel like I do really well. Uh, I use a suppressor on the 8K. And I, I feel like I do really well, even at medium to you know somewhat uh, long distances. You know, and, and of course, you know that's not to say that without a suppressor, that that gun isn't better, or could do better, or I could be better with it. It's just mostly the fact that uh, I just don't care. <laughs> I, I, depending on. It's, it's mostly depending on the game type, but most situations, I don't really want the team to know where where we're at. Um, you know, lo long range, it's 
it's not so bad. So if I'm, you know, if I'm a sniper or if I know I'm going to be, you know, not ever in, in, you know, purposely engaging in any close quarters, you know, and then I'll, I'll play my role. You know, I, I won't use a suppressor. I'll try to, you know, lay down suppression with a light machine gun from long distances. Um, but for the most part, I like I like I like some suppression. Thought that was an enemy right there. Surprise. When I f first started playing this game with you guys, um, I was kind of anti-suppressor because of the you know like uh, decrease in the bullet travel time, and I feel even somewhat an accuracy. I, I, I feel like with a, with a suppressor you have to be way more gentle with the guns and way more accurate of where you're uh, you know, landing those shots. Where I feel like with a heavy barrel I can be a little bit more I don't, you know, sloppy's not the right word, so I'm never trying to, you know, play sloppy. But I feel like I can be a little bit more lenient, like, I could just hold down the trigger, you know, for a full second burst, or even more, um, and still get some pretty solid hit markers. But then again, I don't really know what I'm talking about, because I don't really study, you know, all the, uh, you know, bullet drop and travel time and, and things like that. Uh, I just love the M5K basically. Is your first day. as you'll see <laughs> throughout all throughout this uh, this awesome video that we had. This, which was uh, a ton of fun, uh, and this was our own server. Might I remind you? Oh, that wasn't a bad guy right there. Ooh, I didn't remember that. Man, I do like that SV-98 sniper, though. I picked it up off a guy's uh, corpse the other night. I picked up his kit and loved it. I was was really agreeing with me, so I'm trying to rank that sniper up right now. Uh, anyway, guys, uh, Ronin, Wisby, Malicious, Brick, Moto, um, a lot of fun. This capture card uh, is, is pretty cool. So uh, if you guys watched all of this... It was great reliving that through my eyes, wasn't it? Because it was 27 minutes. Anyway, guys, look forward to playing some more games with you and editing these videos down to a more uh, 10 to 12 minute mark or 8 to 10 minute or... Yeah, not not a half an hour. I just put this half an hour one up because it was the, the first one that we uh, played together when I was capturing... And uh, it was on our server, too. And it was a pretty fun game. Ended up being a lot of fun.